County, Mississippi. Uh, we're gonna we got some turkeys roosted up here. We're gonna try to go get a Stephanie one. Let's go. sitting in a tree about 30 yards from us. Two, two egg gobblers on the left. We're gonna take this, take this decoy down there and see if we can pull them down here. We got Stephanie kill one of them. I might have to get out there. Do what we gotta do. big gobblers right here and yesterday we didn't get a shot at them but yesterday afternoon we came back here and we saw where they roosted so we're gonna go get them this morning We were walking down this road along the creek. Came around the curve and I saw a hen in the road right here. So I got scared and I backed up and sat down right there. And I called a couple times hoping 
that we drawed a hen in here. And uh, we didn't see a gobbler, but we were hoping that a gobbler was behind her. And sure enough, he was where we couldn't see him. We had heard him this morning. We were on two other turkeys, and we heard that one this morning. And uh, they liked to walk this road, and he came around and saw our decoy. And there, I guess our decoy needs a little work done to it. But uh, he, he didn't like what he saw when he got right here. He was turning around and he was leaving and we had to shoot now or never. That turkey started running and I shot through a bunch of stuff. And I knew it hit him hard. I saw him go down. He was hurt bad. <laughs> Look at that spur. <laughs> Look at the beard on that stuff. Ten and a half inch beard, the longest strength. Good four or five year old turkey right there. That's the way you do it, Mississippi. It's early April in East Mississippi, Kemper County, and we're going to be uh, easing around, see if we can't crank one up around some of these food plots or uh, possibly off in that creek bottom. Well, we, uh, it took us a little longer this morning to, uh, to find one. Maybe I tried to rush it a little bit, but we finally heard one and uh, miscoursed it a little bit. I just, I, I just couldn't believe I was, we was gonna get on him in this creek bottom. Thought it was a little wet. That's a good one, that's a good one. Man, does he have a paintbrush. It's almost, I thought it was a double beard, but it's just a paintbrush. It, it's one beard that splits off, almost into two, but it's just a brush. Boy, he was a goblin, good. Goodness, he's, he's two year old birds, all he is. He's got a big old beard, and look at that head and all the goblin we heard. These birds were gobbling here across the creek when we got here and made our setup on this dry area. And uh, I, I'm thinking they had, they come by us on the creek and then they cross the creek just down here a few, man. I don't know, a few yards, 50 yards at the most, and then come back in to us is, is uh, how I believe they done it. But these, these turkeys, rather than just flying the whole creek, they'll come down these sandbars and, and then just come across it. They don't have to go, go far. Can't actually walk it. Uh, and I really didn't hear them this morning, and that's some, some real shallow areas there on those lime rock shoals and sand, and those uh, lime rock shoals all in here. And, water an inch or two deep. I guess they're just used to it. And uh, 
but they come across because I really didn't, but they definitely were across the creek and uh, and they either flew it or walked it or, or just jumped it. But uh, they come on in to daddy. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. It, uh, a good, a good paintbrush beard, big beard, goblin good, two-year-old bird. Uh, he had, I guess, had a another one with him. They were both, they were both goblin good. We were, uh, we heard them and and uh, might have miscoursed a little bit, but we finally figured out where they were at. It was hard for me to believe they were in this creek bottom, and uh, they were as wet as it is. And uh, and if they were, they were across the creek, and that's exactly where they were. There's a creek bank right there. We got these birds across that creek and uh, and come on in on a string and uh, just just both of them and uh, we found this dry spot and I knew that uh, we'd come on through a wet area that they probably wouldn't have crossed and we made our setup right here on the, on the, on the creek bank uh, on a little dry knoll and and it worked and they, they come on in here to us and uh, just a wonderful hunt. For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors Magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. The magazine contains interesting features such as wildlife photography and soul lunar tables. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive, and when you subscribe, you'll receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874 Five seven eight five. Tree stand falls account for over 90% of Mississippi's hunting accidents. The tree stands involved in most hunting accidents are the lock on, the climber, and the ladder stand. Before using these stands, check your straps, cables, and chains. New straps are considered the cheapest life insurance policy you can buy. Use a pull-up rope to haul your gear, bow, or gun up to the stand. Always use a full body harness when hunting from an elevated stand. Always attach a safety harness to the tree or use your lifeline when climbing. Remember, when hunting Mississippi's wildlife management areas, a hunter is required by law to wear a full body harness when hunting from an elevated stand. The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks wants all hunters to have a successful and enjoyable hunting season, but above all else, a safe return home. We're at Knoxby County, uh, rabbit hunting on a glorious day in February. It's about as good as it gets. If you don't enjoy this, something's wrong with you. Uh, we're at uh, Beaver Dam Lodge. We're right on the Alabama-Mississippi state line. We're about, uh, we've got about 2,000 acres uh, right at it. We're just a commercial hunting lodge. and It's been a long journey, but it's been fun. We've had a good time doing it. Well, I tell you what, I cried to go over with my daddy so much. We had beagles when I was five years old, so he started taking me at, at age five, and so I'm 79 years old now. So you might say I've got uh, 
about uh, 74 years of experience rabbit hunting. Have done all kinds of hunting, but I enjoy this more than anything. So uh, we like to hear the dogs run, and we enjoy the dog work more than we ever do shooting a rabbit. Now, somebody just shot at a rabbit right there. Twice. That may be a miss. <laughs> How many total years you had rabbit hunting, Taylor? Uh, about 74. 74 and 74? What's that? 148. 148 years. And this is a absolutely ideal place, uh, Beaver Dam Lodge here, to have rabbit hunts. And, you, you can imagine a fellow 79 got to be retired from something. <laughs> so I've, I've been in the whole month of February here. We're hunting three and four times a week. All right. Yeah, having a good time. Good time. I can just walk right through here. Yeah. Let's just go right through here, Gary. Let's go this way, bud. You're getting better at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to be around Larry and Taylor all my life hunting, and uh, it's probably one of the favorite sports of all time for me. I'd rather do it than deer or anything, so I just get into it for the dogs, and it's just a lot of fun, a lot of companionship when everybody's hunting together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You can tell each one of them. Each one got a unique voice or a different sound. Yeah, yeah. You can tell the difference for sure particularly if the ones you've raised, you're, you're more familiar with them than maybe somebody else's, but after a hunt or two, you'll know them all, yeah, by their way they open, yeah. How about that, buddy? What you doing? All right. All right, that's a... That's a different rabbit. Well, it come running up underneath this blind. I was standing back here on the path, and when I raised my gun, it turned from me. I ended up getting in the back end, but we got it. That's all that matters. First rabbit of the morning, the dogs jumped him running by, and I shot at him too far, and he turned and run right at me. Made a fatal mistake. We having a big time. Rabbit stew tonight, boys. I don't ever remember not hunting with them. Uh, it's one of my favorite things in the world to do. It's kind of a dying art, but uh, they're a hoot. We laugh a lot and and uh, have a great time. There, you learn a lot from them. That's for sure. Always doesn't matter if we kill a rabbit or not. We have a good time and hurt from laughing anyway. <laughs> How long's it been since you've heard a rabbit race, Taylor? Four or five years? Oh yeah. Dang. I mean, that's how long you lost your hearing four or five years ago. I'm gonna have my son research it. Yeah, they may and, make a smaller and, version of yeah. that. <laughs> I forgot I had it. I was hunting a sling the other night and, and uh, found that in one of my boxes down there. I said, well, I'm, the Taylor, that'll fit him perfect. <laughs> we'll poop. All right. Dead red. Garrett, you missed a chance, Bob. Break it, break it down, we'll go hunt another. What do you say? Good dog. But each dog's got a different sound and you can, you know, you can tell which one's running which and they get excited. Uh, and that's when it really gets fun when you can tell they have their enthusiasm and their bark. 
Get to it! So how you like rabbit hunting so far? It's pretty good. I mean, came, I came last year. It's my first time, but okay. it's pretty good. So you got a shot off today, so mm -hmm. got some action. Yeah. Well, you might be on another one. You ready to go get another? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Two warning shots and one for effect, huh? Right. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. That's the rest of us. Dead red, dead red, dead red, red. Good dead red. Good dog. I'm going to start back up for the title now. Get ready. He didn't get that rabbit, he's coming through here. There he is, there he is, there he is. Gonna come slipping right back through here. And he'll be ahead of them dogs. Hey, there he is, right there. Yeah, you can kill him. Oh yeah, they work harder than we do for sure. Yeah. There you go, Brian. Brian, Brian. Oh, I, I hope you got that. I, I hope you got that, Rusty. I did. All right, that quick draw, my girl. What happened? Well, the first shot was to speed him up. I didn't want to give him a sporting chance. Yeah, yeah, but but what would have been bad would have been if he'd have missed him that second shot. First shot, like I said, was to speed him up. I wanted to look good on oh, camera. Right, man. Yeah. <laughs> Get redemption. Yeah. That rat was coming right at me. I said, Rusty. Fellas, y'all never have another chance to film a rabbit hunt where you get fed in the field. Yeah, I've uh, worked on the uh, raw scoring that reservoir from day one. Oh, I, I was there when we poured uh, the uh, spillway and uh, diverted the river, and uh, that was a sight to see. We we had. Just like anything, there was some uh, fine times, and then there was some very difficult times. Come on, y'all had enough. Come on. That's a good way to end the day, right? Yeah, there. it's a good day. It's hot though. Done got hot, and these dogs is whooped. Come on, boys. Come on. They've had enough.
Well, first of all, you, you, Brian, John, Debbie, they're top of the line people. And I'm just fortunate to know them and for them to have me down, but they got some of the best hunting I've ever been on. I've, I've hunted all over some fine places, but I've never been anything nicer than this. They rabbit anywhere you go. Well, what I love is, you know, you get deer hunting, you just go when you're by yourself. Rabbit hunting, you get the camaraderie and you get to walk and talk and joke around and uh, you get to hear the dogs. That's the most important part, is watching the dogs work. And that's what the, the music with them is what I like the most. But if you ever wanted to just find a, a place to hunt, this would be the, a little bit of heaven right here. This is it, Beaver Dam Lodge, ain't no question. Yeah. Time will spin. 